We begin from the banking sector with the business community, financial institutions, insurance, professionals and financial analysts are optimistic that the Nigerian economy might perform better in 2020. They share their thoughts at the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria's Forum on the Economic Outlook for the Year. Details in this report. The recent review of cash reserve ratio by the Central Bank of Nigeria and an ongoing reviews of Tax Act via the Finance Bill are some of the developments analysts say will shape the business environment for the year 2020. Since the beginning of the year, notable local and international business organizations have come up with projections and assumptions for the new year. The Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, in collaboration with other concerned bodies, puts this program to examine the economic and business outlook for the year. From what we have heard today, is that clearly execution remains key in terms of what has been propagated there. And then we also need to have inclusiveness. Inclusiveness is very good in terms of our growth inclusiveness because that is the only way. And a good example was taken from China that had a proper you know, inclusive growth uh, uh, policy. The point clearly is that we, an example should be taken from China. You know, that discipline of pursuing desired objectives clearly must be there. And the growth you know, policy should be you know, uh, inclusive. In collaboration with a notable partner, Abiodun Adedikwe, the focus here is to review the expectations of local businesses concerning global economic and political developments. I see 2020 as a year of opportunities, but based on an understanding of the terrain, based also on an understanding of the changes happening there, and then the changes we expect to happen. Now, when all of these are put in context, and then companies, whether they are profit-seeking or not-for-profit, make informed choices of strategies. It's a year also that they can grow along with the economy. The conviction here is that GDP is expected to sustain a gradual growth in 2020, while inflationary pressure will continue due to supply shortages and shutdown of border, giving the direct impact on food prices.